A former district court judge and Fitzgerald inquiry attack dog will lead a three-month investigation into rogue tow truck companies. Michael Ford has been asked to consider a range of measures, including protection measures against operators who intimidate and extort customers. Tegan George reports. He famously interrogated Sir Joe in the Fitzgerald inquiry. Now former District Court Judge Michael Ford is charged with reining in tow truck cowboys. This particular process that we'll adopt is not about finding people to prosecute, it's about solving a problem. Cabinet today gave him the green light to start a three-month investigation looking into how to clean up the industry and drive out shark operators. This is an entirely unregulated uh, domain uh, because uh, it is a sticky legal area. The investigation will consider a minimum standard for parking signs, fees and charges capped, a maximum distance for towing and consumer protections to limit predatory practices. Well, is it really hairy chested, I'd have to say? We've got another inquiry, another review. The most reported troubled spots include New Farm, Fortitude Valley and South Bank. A government hotline set up for victims has so far received around 300 calls, with complaints ranging from exorbitant fees and poor signage to intimidation. And I'd envisage within the next month or so that figure will be doubled. The opposition, which today announced a plan to slash red tape by 20%, says the problem can be fixed simply by changing regulations to cap removal fees, a proposal supported by the RACQ. So I know where you're going. You're trying to say that he's talking about more regulation at a time when he's talking about red tape reduction, I understand. The LNP will also take a page from Tony Abbott's book if it wins government at the next state election, today promising to set aside an annual red tape repeal day in Parliament. We're about making sure that we have the best red tape. Put your money where your mouth is, Tim Nichols. Come out and support Labor's trading hours bill if you are truly serious. Those laws are up for debate next week. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.